Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at construction 6 and 7 where we look at how to divide a line segment into two or three or more equal segments without measuring. For construction 6 and 7, we want to look at how to divide a line segment up into two or three or more equal segments without measuring it. So basically we want to split up this line segment AB in let's say three sections. So that's what we're going to do in this construction. Obviously if it was two sections or four sections you would just do the same steps but for more or less amounts of times. So we're going to look at splitting our line segment AB up into three equal segments. So what we want to do is we start off by placing our ruler down at point A and we're going to draw a ray okay with an acute angle so basically you want to make the angle less than 90 degrees you're going to start at a point a and you're going to draw a ray going out this way okay it doesn't have to be any particular length so that's our first step what we're going to do next then is we're going to get our compass and we need to make sure we keep our compass the same width once we set it up okay so i'm going to stretch out my compass to a particular length and obviously we're splitting this up into three segments so you want to make sure the three arcs are going to fit onto this line. So you're going to place your compass at point A and again keeping the compass the same now for each th uh, time you're going to draw an arc here. So that's one. You're going to go down to the arc and you're going to draw another one. So that's two and then one more three. So again if you're only dividing it into two segments you'd only do two of those. If you were dividing it into four you'd do another one. Okay. Right, so once we've got that done, we are, we can label them, okay? So because it was three of them, you're going to label them X, Y, and Z. Right, so what we do is we have to go to the last arc that we drew, drew okay? So that's very important. So the last one that I drew was obviously Z. And what we're going to do is you're going to join Z with the end point of your line segment. So we're going to join this up. So we're going to have Z here and B here. And that's our first point okay and what you're going to do next is we need to basically find the move our um, ruler up along to ensure that we are finding the parallel lines to that line okay so again there's lots of different ways that you can do this but if you imagine it what we're trying to do here is I'll set up my ruler like this so we're going to set up our set square where our set square is in line with our parallel line or our line I should say and you're going to fix your ruler underneath and what we, this is called sliding set square. So if I slide my set square along here all these lines are parallel to the line BZ and that's exactly what we want okay. So keeping your hand on your ruler to ensure you're keeping that um, sliding set square in place you're going to slide it up to Y and where it intersects you're going to draw the line and then again making sure you've got that set up properly you're going to slide it along until you get to x and you're going to join that point all together and what we've done then is where those two points of intersection can be seen so we'll call that d and this one c and vice versa you have divided up your line. So if you want to test it then, what we should notice is this line was originally 10 centimeters. So dividing it in three, we can see it's about 3.3 uh, uh, between each point, which means that we have done this correctly, okay? So that's how you divide a line segment into three equal segments. Thanks for watching our video today. In our video, we looked at construction six and seven.